look suspicious if I do. If I leave, Mason will know something's up and I will not give him the satisfaction. Well, I'm not leaving. Fine, then we'll both stay. That way no one will know we're here together. Perfect. Okay, you must keep your distance from here. I won't let you out of my sight. I knew you'd come around, Father. Well, that Father thing makes it a little dirty, huh? Taboo? On a couple of levels. <laughs> Did you know that large dogs produce over 40 pounds of poop a year? And don't think if that doesn't get into the drinking water. Imagine how much feces the average person drinks daily. Now, how can I not? Oh. Is it finished? I suppose you could say that. Remember our agreement? I remember. All right, everyone. Since Mason can't work outside of the confines of bourgeois paradigms, we'll have a little preview of the film thus far. Please remember that everything written on these pages is the intellectual property of Mutilated Mummy Productions, Inc. You're man number one. Nice. You're girl number one. Oh, you, you don't have to pair us up. We're not together, you know. And I have nothing to hide. <laughs> You're man number two. Oh, no, I can't. They teach you to be so unhelpful at seminary. Girl number two. Be gentle with me, or in your case, gentile. <laughs> Dog poop lady, you're girl number three. Wow, girl number three? I know. And you're man number three. So, Sid paired us up together. What do you think he's trying to say with that, huh? Shh. I'm going to set the mood. You're in a dark wood. Ooh. The campfire's dying embers shoot into space like pyrotechnic lightning bugs. The moon hangs low in the sky, casting long shadows on the... Well, it's all there in the script. <laughs> Dialogue. <clears throat> hey, babe, let's go to the abandoned coke mine by the lake and get it on. Oh, Todd, I've been waiting for you to say that since the last time we had sex. But Todd, what about the woodsman? Do you mean the woodsman who died in the collapse of the coke mine and whose ghost now haunts these woods chopping campers in two with his axe? Yes, Todd. That's just a legend, babe. Let's make love. Okay. Uh, Todd. All right. You neglected a lot of the poetry, but all right. Coke mine. How, how was my poetry, though? How, how scary is this gonna get? Uh, I don't know. I could, I don't know, put my arm around you or something, if you'd like. Oh, that'd be nice. Why is the killer called the Woodsman when he obviously works in a coal mine? A coke mine! Why does the script call me man number one when I'm obviously Todd? It's a first draft! Shut up! You're destroying the scary ambiance! Man number two. Oh, Cynthia, I may be captain of the football squad, but I can't say this. Live a little. But seeing those two go to have relations. Could you read it right, Father? No. Really reminds me that I want to uh, have relations with you at the abandoned amusement park. But the crazy Connie... Where's the abandoned amusement park? I don't know. The front door, I guess. Perfect. Ooh, looks like it's our turn. We're finally alone. Yeah. Stick to the script, please. Sorry, I was being organic. Don't. I know there's been a breakout at the mental hospital up the road, but I've been looking forward to a quiet moment with you. Me too. It's time for your nap, little brother. What? Your line? Here's your line. Me no wanna. Me wanna stay up. The bad man in my dreams will get me. Oh, there's no bad dream, man. You're seven years old now. Go to sleep. You a mean big sister. Our agreement! You wanted to be paired with her and you are! 
I thought it was man number three. That's a typo. Hey! More sex! This is a horror film, for God's sake. This is perfect. No one suspects a thing. This is fun, isn't it? It's a hoot. Maybe you should put your head in my lap. Okay. I mean, if you think it will serve the script. No! Something's not right. What? No, it's right, it's right! What are you doing yet? What are you doing? It's called artistic vision. Girl number two, I need you to make advances on man number two. No problem. That's good, man number two. You're uncomfortable. You're conflicted. Deep down, you want her attention. But her sexual advances could jeopardize your captainship of the football squad, or worse. <laughs> I could burn in the fires of hell. That's good. You would love it if there was something going on between Eric and me, wouldn't you? I don't care. Because then you could have Jennifer all to yourself. Just disgusting, since she's your sister. I'm sorry, excuse me. Where are you going, Beefy? I don't understand. Why do we have to switch? Why do I have to defecate whenever I get excited? Some things are simply a mystery. All right, you're the murderer, so I'm going to need you to strangle girl number three. What? Gently. I don't need a dead starlet on my hands. Again. I'm the murderer? But what about the, the woodsman and the carny and the escaped mental patients? Have you ever written the screenplay? Six. This town. Just strangle her, Hitchcock. <clears throat> Pardon me, ma'am. I know we haven't met, but I'm supposed to strangle you now. Murdered by my own brother. Oh, oh. Father, father. I'm not Catholic, but you're the closest thing to a real minister here. I seem to have found myself with one woman too many. There's a lot of that going around. Those black clothes must get awful hot. <laughs> Oh, they're Father. Sorry, sir, I got my own demons to tackle at the moment. And people wonder why I'm Lutheran. Oh, please, kid, not again. Do you think Eric's a better actor than me? Eric was drawing me, okay? Yeah, Eric's an artist. Being a jingle writer, I don't expect you to know what that is. I wasn't naked. He was drawing me in this, you ass! Get away from her, Father Backstabber. She's my back demon. She's mine. Boys, boys, there's room for both. Yes, yes, go with it. Look at the funny outfit, Mason. Maybe I'll get Eric to bring the drawing over so you'll never forget it. Oh, it won't be necessary. Who do you think commissioned him to draw it in the first place? I exorcise the every In the name of Jesus, etc. Be opened! Don't look at me! Who was that mysterious stranger? So exciting! I shot a holy man for me. Yeah, I guess, I guess I did. Oh crap, I'm Catholic. Father, I'm so sorry. You're sorry? Oh, yes. Then it worked. It actually worked. Uh, sure, yeah, it worked. Now, can I confess to you, or is there a conflict of interest? Uh, the important thing is that we've all had enough excitement for one night. Okay, everybody out. Ah! Jennifer and I have very important things to do here alone. It's there. The poop. It's there. I can't believe it. My work here is done. Oh, crap. Do we really need popcorn for this movie? Okay, this should be right before the poop shows up. There's Eric. Who? Oh, there's Sid. I wondered where he went. He looks very excited. He's stopping. Unscoop poop finds its way into the ocean, and people swim in it. Is Sid pulling his pants down? And squatting? Ooh. Don't go in the water! Can I have a copy of that? 